the most famous security guard ever. That's the right. ambassador of the dragons. The ambassador <laughs> of the dragons, exactly. Yeah. No matter what, even if we are the dragons, he pretty much still has seniority. Well, we he can't is. say shit because it's left hook. <laughs> Well, you, but not me. Oh. Uh, I'm lying. That would hurt. Yeah. Dude, he knocked you three weeks in the sun. I'm going to kick your balls in the back I'm of your head. Your balls. Come on! Uh, Kaylin is a. Uh, it, it was kind of like when we I like, first showed up to the first band practice. Uh, yeah, th- this kid was like would not say one thing that was serious, and he's just running around. He's in this crazy hat. He's slamming Bud Lights. I'm like, I like that guy. <laughs> and I'm like, it, it was funny. I'm like, you know, I'm like everyone's sober now, you know, in corn. I'm like, I still like to, you know, get it on here. And he's like, he's like, you do. I'm like, yeah, I do. And he's like, brother. <laughs> So that night we went out to Koji's is where his normal hangout is and just got completely obliterated. But uh, it's been cool because, you know, uh, it's just, you, there's just those people that you, you just, you know, you, you get to know and and uh, you have a kinship with, you know, instantly. And he's become one of my best friends and, you know, it's uh, it's been fun. Nicknamed the Dragons. We got nicknamed and uh, it's been fun. We've had, a, we've had a blast together. And, uh, yeah, I got a chance to... Uh, uh, sitting with his band, The Changing, on the last three shows of Family Values. Um, one of my favorite songs that they do uh, called Class War, and it was killer. I had a really good time playing with them. So, uh, yeah, you got to check out The Changing. Let's bring out a special party guest in line. You may know him, Mr. Joe Jordison. He's going to help us out with a song about how funny I think everything is. You know, it was a joke a long time ago that Fieldy, it was like in Europe we were talking about where like, you know, he, it was like for his TV show where I was going to be like playing bass, but he was going to be playing drums in my mask, but, whatever. but it went away. But uh, the first song here to stay like in Salt Lake City, I looked over Fieldy, he had my mask on, and I literally was laughing so hard I almost couldn't even play the song. I almost fell off my drum uh, my drum seat, my drum throne, I mean. And uh, it was really cool, and he like he signed it to me and everything, but it was the funniest thing, and I was actually looking at it. And I've never seen someone perform with my mask on. So I was like, is that what it looks like? That's creepy. <laughs> and it was really cool. I'm just him <laughs> playing bass and my mask on. It was really, really, really cool. That is the project. Is uh, the next Slipknot record, which uh, we're gonna, you know, we've already started writing, but we need to all actually get together as a collective and uh, start hammering it out and everything. So, November, December, probably most of January, we're gonna finish all the writing and we're gonna probably start the recording process end of January, early February, so like that. So right now, that's all that's really I have, you know, going on. I just finished uh, the, producing this band called Three Inches of Blood, which uh, everyone should check out. They're really good. They're actually from Vancouver. We're in Seattle. We have a lot of people here that, uh, you know, good friends, you know, of, of mine, uh, of the band. Uh, they're on tour right now. But, um, yeah, so, uh, after that, you know, I you know, did the corn run, but the next right now is uh, all Slipknot, so. It's kind of hard to put in words. Um, you know, the guy is you know the biggest sweetheart i've ever met and you know we have a lot in common because uh you know his you know we both uh, he was you know worked as a corner and ever you know and everything and i worked my family business was uh, funeral homes so we've seen a lot of the the same type of you know you know craziness and we both uh, started playing at around five years old like you know instantly like you know started picking up drums that was his first instrument and guitar was mine then i kind of switched back so we both started and were introduced to music at a very young age you know his his son's name nathan that's my real name is nathan so there's a bunch of you know different similarities um and the guy's just a sweetheart and i've, I've had nothing but you know you know the utmost respect for him you know since you know i heard corn a long time ago so uh 
it was cool. Like, uh, you know, we always write these, like, crazy songs together, and, you know, we'd stay up all night and just talk about life, and uh, the guy's amazing, and it's. It, I'm just glad that, you know, he welcomed me into the Corn family, and I've had a blast, you know, being here, so thanks a lot, you know, to uh, John and the rest of the guys in Corn. I'm trying not to think about it too much. I just want to concentrate on the show. Uh, you know, the last show I started realizing, I'm like, oh, man, it's winding down. I only got one more show, and Freak on a Leash and Blind started to get a little bit difficult, so... Tonight, I think, will probably be one of my best performances, but it's also going to be an emotional one. Hey, man, you ready to do this, son? Slow and powerful tonight. You got it? Come on, man. Oh, you got Zach's head, too? Slow and powerful. being in corn and and uh and helping out and filling in because i've met like a whole nother family now and i feel really close and uh with everyone and i hope to you know actually come back and play with corn again on the next record hopefully if, it, if time allows because uh, i really feel at home here now and uh, you know i've had a great time so almost decided to stay because of you 